Hey guys, I'm back again and this is part 2 on my Star Trek review of the NX-01 Starship from Star Trek. Uh, there's a lot of great things about this kit and there's also a lot of bad things about this kit. Let's talk about the great things. Uh, this whole Aztec pattern on Star Trek is all pre-painted on the front, on the sides, and on the bottom. Think about masking it and spraying a different color on this. It is a painting horror, but Bandai did it for you. Also has a different variety of colors that is already pre-painted, the red and the gold right there. On the front of the ship, um, you see the symbol NX-01 Enterprise is already pre-painted there too. Amazingly done, exceptionally crisp and perfect. Um, there's also a uh, clear parts on this uh, whole model kit and it does have clear parts on the front it does have a clear part on the sides which is uh, green and red um, two red parts clear parts right here when you're building the model kit I did miss a couple of uh, clear parts which is the middle right here I had to reopen it and put it back same for the back I had to reopen it same for this part um, you probably see a lot of holes throughout the kit and this is where the great thing about this kit shines it, is that uh, the lights do filter out and come through the holes on the side of the ship, the top and the bottom. Uh, on the bottom of the ship uh, it does have a light coming through of that part and um, it looks amazingly great. Uh, Let's talk about the negative things about this kit. And boy, there is a lot of negative things I could talk about. Uh, this kit has gaps. You see right there? There's a big gap right there. Um, when they engineered it, I don't know why they did it. Didn't fix that part, but there's a gap right there. Um, also on the sides, um, there is a gap right here too. And a gap right here too. Uh, this part you could probably fix. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to sand inside. Uh, the wire is making it pop up like that. So you need to sand the plastic inside and allow the, the wire to go through cleanly. And um, once you do that, you can assemble it and you need to glue it to make it more, um, more um, fitted so it doesn't have that gap right there. You can see right there. also has a gap right here. And... Uh, that's about it. Um, that's all the negative things um, about the gaps. <laughs> There's another negative thing. It's the light bulbs that it came with. It's Christmas light light bulbs. They use a lot of power and they are not that bright. Um, what I did was I had to replace them with LED lights and boy they are beautiful. When this kit lights up it's like a big uh, night light for me and in, in my room. It just looks amazing. Um, make sure when you handle this model kit, uh, pick it up from the base. Uh, do not pick it up from the model or this part. There's electronics in there and if you do pull on it, it doesn't have great connection. And if it doesn't light up, you need to fix the whole thing. You need to take it apart. And that will take a lot of time and you might crack it open and you know some parts are not meant to be reopened again. I didn't glue the whole kit. Uh, it's snap assemble. And the reason why is I want to make sure the lights work perfectly and I had to run it for a while. I did run it for 8 hours non-stop with the 3 AA batteries. Um, and LED lights, they use so less power. I mean, I could run this for half a month and it'll still light up. It's just amazing how the technology has been changed um, this century. It's just great. Um, here is where the... Um, power switches and you push it up and it lights up but there is a part on the bottom I'll show you that covers the, where the connection is um, here's the part and you just snap it up there from behind and you go like that and just snap it up there uh, once you finish building it um, you don't want to snap this snap this in there the reason is that um, when you move it it'll fall out. It doesn't hold that well. And it's not a wise thing to glue it because if you want to take it apart, you can't take it apart because you need to slide it 
on the right and push it down to take out this black piece. So you don't want to glue this on there and you don't want to leave it there. Um, it, will just does, it does show a little hole there, but you know, who will look under there anyway? Uh, it's fine like that. Um, I leave this, you know, in my spare parts and make sure I, you know, I have it just in case. It does come with another part that covers the whole hole so you get, you know, post the Star Trek uh, ship without, um, without the stand. But, you know, why would you do that? You know, it has a stand, just leave it on the stand. It has electronics in there. Uh, so, finally, let's turn on the lights and I'll show you how it looks. Okay. Hey guys, uh, you probably noticed that when I was trying to turn on the lights, the lights didn't light up. Uh, it's probably because there was a loose connection on the base because I was messing around with it. So let's turn it on. See how it blinks a little bit if you move the base a little bit. So here's the light lighting up. It looks great. Uh, you see, my lights are still on and it looks really good already. So let's turn it off. you see much a better shot of it. That's how it looks. Let me turn off the lights completely. And that is cool looking. A great night light. Just look at the bottom. All those holes, all those lights coming out. That looks great. Look at the front. Look at the sides. That blue is just awesome. I just love how it looks. Look at the top. And look at the the red parts of the engine. It just looks great. The lighting effect of Bandai uh, engineering is awesome. Um, they did a really good job. Uh, two lights right here, one right here, one right here. The LED is a front facing LED. So it blinds you if you look right in front of it. So it lights up the whole engine bay from the back to the front. Doesn't light up that well to the back of it, uh, but you know, a little bit red is okay. I love that part. It was too red, you know, it doesn't look that good. I just like the little dim part of it. Uh, you do see the front of the top of the ship it has a lot of holes right there. There's a light right here on the side of the ship. It has two lights that light up the whole top of the ship, all the holes, the side of the holes, and the bottom side. And that's the LED in the middle. I told you about the bad things about it. This model is the little gaps right here. You see a little the lights coming out the gap. You can't close it up. Um, probably need to open it up and you know try to sand it down a little bit. The the clear the clear part and then push the gap back in and you need to glue it. Um, you probably don't need to glue it, but uh, you need to sand it really nice. Make sure you don't sand it all the way so it goes to the hole. On the back, uh, you probably could cover that part up, these two holes right here. I'll leave it alone because it looks kind of cool like that. The engine does light up really nice. I love that. And the blue just looks amazingly great. Um, you know, it filters out. It has shadows. I mean, it does filter out all the light. Blue does come out really nice because of the clear blue that is uh, pre-painted. I love that. Only bad thing is the middle light doesn't light up. Uh, that's about it. Um, all the lights are just bright. Uh, just a perfect amount of light. Not too bright, not too dim. Just the perfect amount of light for the whole ship to, to shine um, when the lights are off. Uh, I love leaving the ship on. Um, I left it on for eight hours just to make sure the lights are on. You know, the lights don't blow up or anything like that. Um, just three AA batteries. Um, that's about it. It just looks amazing and great. Anyway, you know, I hope you enjoyed this review and I find it more informative for you. And if you'd like to purchase uh, this uh, this model, um, just go online and find it. Anyway, thanks uh, for looking and I'll see you next time for the next review.